um, I uh, came to WordPress from wine. It was wine that got me into WordPress. Seriously, gallons and gallons of it. <laughs> um, it uh, because initially, well, I was a, a photographer in the early days uh, with real film uh, photography. Uh, I got into, uh, well, I, I worked for a Wine Spectator magazine. My partner and I shot their first swimsuit issue. <laughs> um, after that, I was just like, oh, I got to get out of photography. I wanted to get into writing. I got into writing and publishing, uh, desktop publishing, if anyone remembers that term. Um, and then, uh, then I got more seriously into wine, and uh, then I started blogging about wine uh, after I moved to Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, uh, originally, I was from San Francisco, and then I moved to wine country in Sonoma County, and then just kept my northern migration up. And so I uh, started, um, I'll bring it up here. Um, this is my original blog. It's not how it originally looks, it's how it looks now. Um, I started blogging on Blogspot, or was it Blogger? I can't remember. Blogger. Blogger, and then it became Blogspot. But in, um, after taking a course in internet marketing, I uh, decided I have to have WordPress now, and that was about 2010. And um, I was uh, blogging pretty seriously about wine, and all completely self-taught, and after a while, I started showing other people how to blog, and I realized, wow, I know this stuff. Um, so that's when I se more seriously started a, a business uh, of designing sites and um, teaching people about WordPress. And um, it's very satisfying, I find, uh, to get somebody going, like the 101 kind of crowd. Um, so um, this, this, again, so it was all working on this site that I learned so much stuff. And um, then I got into, then I started my business, um, Blog Site Studio, and um, this is how it looks now. Um, so that's, and I've just continued the learning and the teaching, and I run meetups. I have a, a meetup called uh, WordPress Workshop. That just I just reinvigorated in Vancouver because I found a hot new venue, a brewery. <laughs> so, so this brewery has this great conference room, very high tech, very clean, beautiful um, conference tables with plugs in them. And so I was like, this would be perfect. So I, I started again my WordPress workshop, and people can eat and drink while they're, you know, doing their stuff on their computer. <laughs> it's great. Um, okay, so that's where I am uh, about me. Um, I'm here to tell you about Yoast SEO, um, which is, you've probably heard, um, the, one of the best, um, uh, the plugin that you probably need the most on your site. Um, and most of you know it. Let me just enlarge this a little. Most, most people know, ah, sorry about that. They know this part of it, the uh, famous page editor. Um, and um, so what I'm going to be telling you, we'll, we'll talk about this first, and then I'm going to talk about the kind of the back end settings that you may or may not know about, OK? So how many people here use Yoast? Good. Uh, I hope I have something tell you that you don't already know. And for the rest of you, um, here it is. So basically, with Yoast, it, Yoast is really just a tool to help you organize your keywords. Um, in the old days of HTML, you would have been coding this in, like, you know, meta description, meta keywords, and you'd be entering that hard coding. It. Now, this is a nice little tool that enters all that stuff for you. So it gives you the field to enter the keywords. Now, um, I can't take any questions during this uh, presentation. I'll try to take some at the end, but um, I, I'm coming at this from the point of view that you already have your keywords figured out. Okay, so this is not about uh, keyword research. 
or um, any of that, because that would be a whole other presentation we can't really, you know, don't really have time for. So I'm going to um, as assume everyone has their keywords as they're um, working this uh, module. So the first thing you're going to do is figure out what your main keyword is. Uh, and Yoast only wants one focus keyword or keyword phrase. Um, he frowns on, um, and I say he, Yoast, ben, Yoast de Valk, uh, who was a, uh, I guess he was a Google developer back in the day, and he's got this company over in the Netherlands. And, uh, and great marketing, uh, great branding. And um, so he's got all these funny things little notes like uh, you could have more than one keyword I don't know why I don't know why you would want to do that um, so he frowns on multiple keywords he just wants one keyword phrase so um, in this story that I've loaded here uh, this is my title but my keyword oh hey what is it I'm gonna get that wrong. Oh, shoot. I'll forget it anyway so my keyword is WordPress web design Okay, so knowing that, I'm going to come down to the uh, editor and enter. Uh, caps don't really matter, but proper spelling does. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, pluralities can mess you up, apostrophes and um, um, periods, like if you had WordPress 3.5, that would kind of throw things off. But Okay, so here's my keyword, um, fine, and so it gives me this readout. This is the gamification part, where you get the, the, the green, and the, the red is bad, and then everything in between is, you know, in between. Um, so it's telling me, yes, um, my keyword is in the article heading, of course, only once, uh, the, the URL only once, and the content, it appears five times. Um, so all I need to do at this point is um, uh, the page title. This uh, SEO title uh, is the title that's going to follow your post around in social media. It can be different from the page title, um, but uh, it uh, should, you know, it could have the it should have the same keywords, but the caveat is. It really doesn't have to because Google is at a point now where they're understanding related keywords. So, but I'll, I'll, I'll touch on that later. What I do typically, just to start with, is uh, copy and paste the title in to that space. Okay, and then tap it down, and okay, so now my page title says yes. So that leaves the meta description, um, which again, that follows your post around um, uh, on the internet. Now you could write something special or you could just, I, you know, take uh, an excerpt from the content and place it into the description. And there you go. The meta description says yes. Um, not, not the best work here, but so that's it. So I'm I'm all green. If I were to save it now, if you look over here, there's a little uh, in the publish box uh, under S ne next to SEO. It's this gray. So that the gray tells you that there is no um, <laughs> there's no um, uh, readout. It, it, it gray is nothing. So if uh, if, 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 if you look at it on your uh, pages display and it'll, it'll show you the <coughs> color coding of each post, if it's gray, you know, you got to get to work on that one. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Does it make me look smarter? Um, okay, so once you save this, uh, it's going to, it should appear green right there at uh, SEO. And voila, as they say. Uh, so I got the little green mark. So I'm, I'm good. But that's not all. Oh, no, that is not all. Um, Yoast does 
update. Like Google, things change with, with Yoast. So um, my feeling these days is that he's, he's, he's he loosened it up. I mean, it seems to be easier to get that green bullet. Do you find that? Yeah. Um, he wrote to me, he, I wrote a, a story about him, uh, about this the other day, the, uh, the uh, orange is the new green bullet with Yoast. And he corrected me. He said, actually, you only need 0.5% uh, uh, keyword density. I said it was 1%, which was my, my, which was what was the case months ago or in the past. So I think he's recently changed it. Keyword density, um, how many times the keyword appears in your site? So if you look at content, so. Are you talking about site or page? I'm sorry, page, post, post or page. So if you look at this readout right here, you see how many times um, it appears. In content, it says it's appearing five times. And then if you look at the word count up there, it's 530. So it appears five times. That, isn't that like 1%? Yeah. Okay. So I'm good. I don't know. He, he, that's what he told me. He's into 0.5%. Uh, so, okay. Um, so then, that is not all. Um, once you do that, you can go to the page analysis tool. And here is more tips on how to improve your site's SE, uh, your page's SEO. Um, number one, no images. I mean, we all know that images should appear um, on your site because people like to see images, period. Um, so um, I would add a, a photo. And um, mind you, um, Yoast will appear in your images uh, in the media library. So you can SEO the image in this same way. So you can give your image uh, uh, keywords and go through this whole process with a single image. Um, if you like, if, you know, if, if you're a photographer, if, if your site is very uh, photo intensive, it's a good idea. Um, I'm sorry? Exactly, exactly, almost exactly like this in the media library. Pardon me? No, just the regular version. I mean, it, WordPress itself has some SEO. It has the alt text and descriptions that you should, uh, you know, always fill out. But the Yoast will take it one step further. So it's telling me uh, the keyword density is 0.95%, which is a bit low. See, that's why I think it's, it's he wants more like 1%. So, which is it? Um, keyword was found five times. The slug is too long. Consider shortening it. So. Um, Google as well says that uh, you should eliminate stop words like it and the um, short little connecting words and, and focus on the keywords. Uh, so the in the slug, which is your permalink, right? So you can go up to the permalink and e edit that. Um, the <laughs> this is what gets me. The page title conta contains the keyword phrase, but it does not appear at the beginning. Uh, move it to the beginning and talk like Yoda, right? <laughs> WordPress design good for me. You know, I mean, who talks like that? So this is an example of why orange is the new green bullet, because you can't always do all this and, and, and create a post that people want to read or share. Um, because you can make it nonsensical. So you kind of have to weigh these things out as you go along. Um, no outbound links, that's a good one. Consider some. Um, the meta description is too short. Um, so uh, basically, right up here in the snippet preview, that shows you exactly how your post is going to appear in the search engine results. So, um, uh, you know, I'm just going to add some more words. Uh, good thing I should try it now. Like, okay. Okay. 
So that's that that completely fills out the number of um, characters that would appear in your search engine results description. So if I save, if I were to save that, um, Yost will be changing his tune on that note. Okay, so that particular uh, bit is gone. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, then there's the flesh reading test, uh, which I think mostly has to do with um, uh, the length of the paragraphs. Um, people like to um, read short bursts, and, and if your paragraphs are too long, it's considered hard to read. I, it's not like it's so technical that a third grader can't read it. It's just that it's not like visually uh, easy to read. Also, he uh, demands that you have a uh, uh, um, keyword. Well, I haven't even placed any heading tags, like an H2 tag. Um, but if I did create them, he would say, make one of those be a keyword-rich um, heading tag. Um, the rest is all good. I've got, well, I could add more characters to my um, page title if I wanted. Um, the keyword appears in the first paragraph. He's changed that. It used to be put your keyword right at the beginning of your story, again, if you want to talk like Yoda. But who does that? You know, you want to kind of roll into a post um, in an elegant way. So that, um, I think he's changed that for that reason. Um, he wants you to compare your description to the competition, okay. Um, and he demands a 300 word minimum. So if you don't put 300 words or more in your into the uh, content box, um, he's not going to read it w really well. So, and y you're not supposed to use the keyword more than once on your site. So he'll he would ding you on that if I had used this. Well, this is a this is my wine site, so I'm talking about WordPress. Of course, I've never used it, but on my Word on my blogging site, I think I have, and sometimes he says, you know, you've used this before, you know, here's why you should change that. So it's kind of a nag, <laughs> you know. <laughs> You're like, well, <laughs> um, okay, so that is kind of that. Um, now that's not all. There's more. There's this advanced uh, module that allows you to control how how this post gets um, uh, indexed. So you can change your robot, meta robots index. If you want to index n or no index, uh, the follow or no follow for the robots. And then there's all these choices for the meta robots. And then the canonical, canonical, can, can, canonical URL, you can set that as well. Now, my favorite thing in Yoast, in this part of Yoast, just disappeared. Um, the uh, 301 redirect, there below the canonical URL, there was a 301 redirect. And I was told it was, what, what did, where is Niall? She's not here. She, uh, you know, it's funny, I was asking questions about Yoast, and who responded to me but Niall Flores, who was just speaking in this very room. She told me that there were database issues. It was causing problems, the 301 redirect. So now that's something that you'll find in the premium Yoast plugin. But unfortunately, it was, it was one of my favorite features because if you're going to take a, a post offline or a page offline, you don't want to just break break it, you, you want to redirect it, and it was such an easy way to do it. So I'm really disappointed uh, about that. I hope they bring it back. Pardon me? Isn't the premium one, Oh, really? What, it was breaking? Yeah. The, uh, oh. Or at least it's like Oh. Oh, okay. I never had those problems. Okay. Okay. Um, social. You can um, further um, 
uh, fine tune how your post will look in social media. Uh, he has Facebook, Twitter. This is another thing that changes. I've seen Google Plus on here, um, and it's not there now. But each update, there's new, new things and old things that went away. So here you can, um, you can change your title, you can change your description, you can um, uplo upload an image that will appear instead of, say, your um, featured image in, in social media, and then Twitter as well. Um, so that's pretty much, how am I doing? Um, ooh, I got I to gotta, I gotta move. Okay, so that's it for the page version. And again, you'll find a similar version in the um, uh, media library. Okay, how many people are familiar with this side down, down in the, uh, down here? This is all Yoast. Do you guys work with this? all these okay I'll, I'll just go through them real quick tell you what they do um, here's the general one you there is a tour you can he can tour you around um, yeah so this is just his stuff your info this is where you enter your uh, site information uh, webmaster tools here's where you can enter um, your uh, IDs for the different uh, you know search engines Alexa Etc. I only have Google right now. Uh, security, there's a little security um, um, option there. Um, okay, so in titles and meta, now in titles and meta, it depends. Well, for okay, so this page, uh, you know, lets you force the rewrite titles. Um, and, and if you do breadcrumbs, you can choose from the different um, separators. Um, for home page, if your site opens up as a blog, a, as a, a, the post index uh, page, um, you'll get this because this will let you optimize that page that's being, sh you know, shooting out posts. If you have a, a, a site where your home page is a, um, uh, a static page, oh, Oh, okay, 15. Okay, great. Um, if you have a static page, then it will say go to that actual page and optimize it there. Okay? So, um, and now if you don't want to use uh, Yoast on, on your posts and pages, uh, well, let's just say posts. Um, if you don't use it, um, you have the option. What, 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 what would happen is Google will decide what to put for your description. Um, and it's usually the first few lines of your post will appear just by default if you don't use Yoast on your post. Um, and yes, that rhymes. Yoast is the most. Um, but if you don't want to use the on-page thing and don't want to leave it to Google to decide what to say, you can do this. Um, and someone to help me here. What kind of code is it that's separated by the um, percentage signs? Is there a term for that? It's, is that a short code or you see where it says page? So what that does is bring in, it's like an RSS. It brings in the name of your page. Uh, you know, if you have site name, that it'll bring in the, the name of your site. So that's an automatic thing. Uh, what I've done here, you can do the same thing with the description as well. Like you could say, you know, percentage signs excerpt, and that will shoot the excerpt um, to the dis to the uh, search page. What I've done here is I've hard coded my description into the meta description template. Um, but once you once you optimize on the post itself, that will override this. But if you don't use the post page, this will fill in for it so that Google doesn't um, come up with its own uh, descriptions and stuff. Uh, there's a few other things down there. Um, taxonomies work the same way. Archives. Du there's a duplicate content prevention option here. Uh, special pages. For you can hard code your 404 pages. 
Um, what is another? And there's other little uh, doohickeys. Uh, oh, uh, here is where it says, I don't know why you would want to use meta keywords, but if you want to, check this box. <laughs> so that's his sarcasm. There he is right there, dressing up as Sherlock Holmes. Um, so there's all kinds of different um, options there. Okay, so we'll go down to social and um, you can give all your addresses. Um, I need to put in my LinkedIn and Pinterest, but so you can put in your um, social addresses here uh, and then even more stuff for settings for the Facebook, the Twitter, the Pinterest, and Google Plus so that he knows where those things are going. Um, let's see. Okay, site maps. Now this is really important that you could control how your site map appears. Um, you, you know, he has an option, here's, see your site map right here. So here's my site map index. This is the index of all the different site maps. Now you can hone in on each of them um, user site map. Um, of course, I, you know, I'm, I'm excluding a subscriber and contributor there um, and anybody with zero posts. Okay. Um, post types, I've, I'm excluding calls to action. I should probably. Yeah, you're, you're I'm in site maps now, XML site maps right here. Um, I forgot to turn on my glowing cursor. Um, so you can uh, disallow anything you don't really want um, Google to index through your uh, sitemap. Um, you can do it with specific posts for using the post IDs. You can enter them here and they will be excluded. And taxonomies as well. Um, in this case, I'm, I'm using them all. So those will all appear in your sitemap, and um, and you got you guys all know what to do with your sitemap. You can uh, send it over to Word, uh, Webmaster Tools, enter it there, right? You guys all, all using Webmaster Tools, which is now Search Console. Yeah, good, cool. Okay, and then the advanced portion. Um, you can enable your breadcrumbs. I don't like breadcrumbs, so I have that off. Um, you can mess with your permalink. Bread, sure, breadcrumbs uh, are basically um, the stepping down in the directory uh, from one page to the sub page to the next page so that at the top you'd have oh. the, the, the line of, you know, the home, the posts, the name of the post, the, you know, so uh, I don't like that personally. It's just a personal thing. Um, but this is a really nice way to have that option. Um, then here, for instance, uh, you can tell it to, um, he will clean up your stop words from, for, from that are in your slugs. So that's a nice automatic thing. Uh, you can set it to do, you can enforce trailing slashes. Um, you know, mess, you can clean up the head. He will clean up the heading of, of your um, pages. Uh, redirect ugly URLs to clean permalinks. But he doesn't recommend that. But there's a lot of things you can play with, um, is the point. And in RSS, you can uh, put content. I should do it here, I've done it before. If you don't, like, Say you don't want people scraping your content, you can put a note that says this content is the sole property of me. Um, so that, you know, if people grab your RSS, they know <laughs> that they're not supposed to go post it on their page. Um, and then here's a, a coded uh, mess. Um, a code for uh, this post, uh, it, you know, the name of the, it would be the post link uh, first appeared on the name of your blog. So that's, that's really neat. Um, and so you can play with that. 
You can do either in code or in, or in just hard copy. Okay, so that's that. Um, other tools. Okay, bulk editor. Um, so once you get all your keywords, uh, SEO titles, and things like that, you can look at them on one page, and you can change them. You know, let's say you decide to change the name of uh, the Tequila Expo uh, to something else. You can add it with with. So so this is a quick way of changing um, titles. Um, SEO titles and let's see and descriptions in a bulk way, so you don't have to go opening every single post and, and changing those things. Um, so if you want to have like a big picture of all your SEO titles and descriptions, this is a good tool. So that's that, and then the other tool, file editor. Now this is a really, instead of going to your server and changing these uh, files, you, you can change your robots.txt file, um, which is, this is a bunch of junk I have that I don't want uh, referenced or indexed, so I put it here. Um, and then the HT access file, um, that's where, I, you know, I guess Lots of things can be put there, but what I put there is um, those spam referrer sites that send, you know, bogus hits to your site. You can you can put the code for that in this place. So that's a pretty neat thing. And then let's see, was there one more? Oh, import and export. Eh, no big deal. I mean, it's import and export. Um, uh, well, in this case, it's um, so if you get if you get do all these settings the way you like, um, and you want to repeat it in other uh, uh, blogs, you can just um, export it and then go there with you and you use Yoast to import those settings. So if you don't want to have to d redo them all, that's a pretty cool thing. Um, yeah, don't have to go into that too much. And then search console. Come on. Yes, this is a new section. Um, so it'll tell you where your 404 uh, uh, errors are happening, um, both on your desktop, your smartphone, your feature phone. Um, we don't have any there. Um, and in settings. Ah. Reauthenticate with Google, so that's that's all. It's there. That is a good question. Feature phone. What is a feature phone? Does it? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> like a landline? Okay. How am I doing on time? Um, I got a few minutes, I think. Um, well, I kind of think that concludes my tour of Yoast. So, yes. Question. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't comment on that. I, I, I don't personally know. Does anyone know how Yoast treats a wiki post, wiki plugin post? Yeah, wiki plugin. Okay. No? Well, I don't know. 
Um, but on that note, I, uh, I, I will tell you, um, uh, yo if, if you use page builders, does anybody use page builders? Yeah, yeah? OK. Um, I, he doesn't really read. Uh, he won't analyze a page builder page. Um, unless you get, there's some filters I've heard you can get for it. But barring that, um, you're kind of on your own. Uh, but you, you can still use Yoast, but he just won't tell you, he won't analyze a page builder page. It's usually just looking at the front end of the page and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the only thing I ever use it for. There's very few pages that have buttons mm -hmm. that unlike that. Right. So if I need a button, I'll just, that open page builder section just will have mm -hmm. buttons. So the rest appears as a classic yeah. style. Okay. But if, yeah, um, it doesn't work. But once you know how to, the thing is, once you're trained to use Yoast and you know how many keywords you need and how, you know, what the, it is supposed to go in the description, et cetera, you can still enter that information and it will communicate with Google. It's just that he's not going to be able to go in and read all the text. So that's a little caveat you should know. Uh, use your phone or like older phones that uh -huh. have. Uh-huh. Did you Google that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good, uh, thank you. I, I also have a question. So uh -huh. I never used Yoast before. Uh, is it doing it, one thing I didn't, wasn't following, is it doing it on a blog post level or a page level? Both. It'll work for both, okay. yeah. And, and so if you have a page with a bunch of blog posts on it, can you read Oh, that? like an index page. Yeah, yeah no. Just have a, a rant, like you're having a grouping of one of your blog posts that's under a certain Mm-hmm. Right. Whatever. Right. Well, that's when you're going to use the the um, uh, 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 the features in uh, the titles in Meta, because that's really all you can do. Um, where like archives, you can you can set that up really because there's no way for you know, and the same with the post page if you're you know if if you're Front page is all post. You can't do much with it, so so that's why you have to do do one of these things. Yeah. One would think that when you first show the page, that the top that shows the email invitation or whatever it is, that you should be green. One of the things that said something about the the slug is too long. Well, mm -hmm. the slug is nothing more than basically the path, but the stack is in between everything instead of whatever right. you know space is your right. What it's you your permalink. To get you to change your title? Um, yes. To yes, to get rid of those sh uh, useless words. It and the uh, A. Oh, C. Well, to the Yoda talk. Well, but the thing is, it's, um, it's, it's something that appears I in your permalink. Yeah. So it's not so important that people be able to read it. It's good to have the basic words, like. Um, Is it ever? Yeah, that's that's if you set it to force uh, to eliminate the stop words. Okay. Yeah, I that showed that to you. Where was that? That was in. Uh, uh, I think it was advanced. No. no it was in there somewhere. Oh, the advanced? Yeah. That's where we are now. Yeah. So that was the breadcrumbs. The oh, here, the permalinks, right. Um, right, remove stop words from slug. So he'll do that automatically. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Breadcrumbs from. So the, per the breadcrumb would be Yoast advanced permalinks. 